everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and quite honestly, we have so many details that we need to dive into about what we all know is the highest priority of movie news, the Fantastic Four cast rumors for the MCU. Now, over the last 10 days or so, a ton of names have been thrown out there, but many insiders believe we have finally whittled down a few official names as well as ideas for the remaining Fantastic Four. Now, I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to pretend like everything is happy days. These are the perfect castings. Based off of what I've heard so far, I actually feel kind of the opposite. I know the importance of the Fantastic Four, not only to Kevin Feige and to the crew in charge of creating this movie, but to the fan base and to the overall structure and success of the MCU moving forward beyond phases 7, 8. We have the X-Men and the Fantastic Four to look forward to, and I even believe the Avengers are going to be put in a little bit of a back burner while we focus on the mutant saga, the Fantastic Four and their role in the MCU, and the many different characters to spiral out of them. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you why I'm a little nervous and not overjoyed with the roles that we're hearing are going to happen, as well as talk about the overall importance of the Fantastic Four. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our other major movie and television news updates happening daily here on the channel. You can also follow me on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. Links to both of those have been found in the description down below. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, I am pretty sure you have all heard that every single insider is pretty much leaning towards Adam Driver being Reed Richards. This is what we're hearing from My Time to Shine Hello, from Daniel RPK, and from some of the bigger insider-created websites as well. Adam, Adam Driver. I have talked about this in several different videos, and I will go into a little bit more of a rant about it, but I don't like the way that feels. And the fit about it, obviously we haven't seen it yet and you can't knock it till you've tried it, but my initial reaction is, ooh. Second, we've been talking a lot the last three days or so about Sue Storm, and Mila Kunis was actually in the center of all of this, even though she has proclaimed she will not be playing Sue Storm, she said she knows who is playing Sue Storm. But she can't tell us because she will make the mouse mad. And she's not wrong, she 100% would make the mouse mad. But now we've divin into a little bit of, well, who might it be? And Kristen Bell's name's been thrown around. They're very good friends. And, you know, who, who could be playing Sue Storm based off of what Mila Kunis said? Well, today we have an entirely new report that has been thrown around again by multiple insiders saying that Margot Robbie is, in fact, not only in talks to become Sue Storm, but currently has the position offered to her and is in the position where she could accept it and play Sue Storm. So now we have, based off of what we've heard, Adam Driver cast as Mr. Fantastic, and then Margot Robbie cast as Sue Storm. Now, I like Adam Driver. In fact, I really enjoy Adam Driver in his acting, and I really enjoy Margot Robbie and her acting. Her Harley Quinn, her roles in many other movies and upcoming in Barbie have all been fantastic. One, the two of them together just seems incorrect. It's not as much peanut butter jelly as it is salami and jelly you know it it doesn't really make sense and then i i don't really like the idea of margot robbie for sue storm either as much as i don't like the idea of adam driver as reed richards now i'm not a professional agent in charge of casting these movies i don't work for marvel by any means you all know that and remind me that often but there's something that seems wrong about this selection reed richards and sue storm have one of the most inseparable loves this is marvel's first family and and Sue Storm's in charge of grounding Reed and all his crazy ideas. And the two of them just don't, they don't fit together. And they don't fit individually from what I understand about the actors. Now, they could go out there and absolutely surprise me. They could go out there and absolutely crush this. But I'm not in love with this casting based off of how sure everybody seems to be so forth. And I don't want to be all doom and gloom. I'm typically actually not all doom and gloom. I'm actually usually on the it's going to be okay side of things. Like, hey, in Kevin Feige, we trust. That's really been, you know, my mantra. I'm very, very difficult to disappoint. I've enjoyed most of Phase 4. I've enjoyed the movies. I like the direction we're heading a lot more than most people out there right now as far as the MCU's atmosphere really looks. I'm definitely on the higher end of the I've enjoyed the MCU curve. But this just seems like we're headed into the wrong direction. 
Now for the Flash, I'm not gonna lie and pretend like I know who Paul Mescal is, but a lot of people are very confident that Paul Mescal has been either accepted the role or offered the role of the Human Torch. He looks like a potentially good guy to play this role. I don't, I've not seen anything that he's in, so I'm not gonna sit here and say that's a good call or a bad call. I like his look for it and you know, that could potentially be something really good. I like the idea of Marvel grabbing these big roles and giving them to people who are way lesser known. Now he's not a nobody, but I, I'm not familiar with him and I've seen lots of movies and shows. So this seems like where we can really trust Marvel Studios and their ability to cast and they'll find a lesser known actor to fill a role that's very important and do a fantastic job. So hopefully that is A, true because I'm happy with that and B, an actor who's gonna step up to the plate and absolutely smash it out of the park. Now the only one who everybody is still saying is up in the air that hasn't had either an offer thrown towards it or has a solidified place in the Fantastic Four is The Thing. Which is interesting because this isn't actually one of the roles that matters necessarily as much what they look like because they could look like anything pre-thing and then, you know, they turn into the thing and they're going to be wearing a cap suit and it doesn't really matter what they look like. But the names that have been thrown out the most are Jason Siegel and Seth Rogen. Now, the reason why these both make a lot of sense is we know Marvel's trying very hard to stay true to the comic book origin and the thing, Ben Grimm, is actually Jewish by descent. So both Jason Siegel and Seth Rogen are actually Jewish. So that would fit if that was the direction they were trying to stay with that casting. And I think I'm definitely leaning towards Jason Siegel here just because the thing has the comedic importance where he's a little bit of a tension breaker. Reed Richards is a very serious character. Sue Storm spends all of her time trying to keep Reed Richards from, you know, going off of the edge. And then you have Ben Grimm, the best friend, the comedic actor that... that Really, Jason Siegel, I think, would do a great job with this. And it'd be fun to see his face maybe a little bit, or maybe he's the thing the whole time. You know, however they decide to show that, I am interested if they go that route. And Seth Rogen, you know, he's all right, too. I wouldn't probably pick that. That would not be my selection. But um, I don't think that would be the end of the world, either. So that's where we're at. Um, my, my personal feelings are this is a bit of a mess. No, I'll, I'll say it again. I won't knock it until I try it. When the movie comes out, I will be very open-minded if this ends up being our cast. But it does seem like four very different fruits put onto a vegetable cart. It, it just doesn't really seem to make sense to me. And I, I, I'm curious to see what Marvel ultimately ends up doing with their actual cast. These are all still rumors and insiders who, you know, have their insiders telling them what's going on. So somebody told somebody told somebody told me and now I'm telling you. So there's definitely room for things to be changed. You know, the rumor is Margot Robbie has the opportunity to do it they have offered her the role it doesn't mean she will accept it and i don't even know what's going on with adam driver that one is that one is a, a head scratcher for me but do let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below is this the fantastic four team you were hoping marvel would put together or is it just not quite working for you either always always would love to hear what everybody says since you know the community is the reason these movies are made and put together so i hope that you guys are paying as much attention to this as i am Regardless, let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching until the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. And I'll be sure to catch all of you guys in the next one, right here on Cosmic Culture.